five things you wish you knew before you got ear pinning surgery. Number one, the surgery should be done awake. Most surgeons are gonna tell you you need to go to sleep and the truth for the reason is, is that surgeons are afraid that you're gonna know while they're putzing about trying to figure out what to do that they don't know what they're doing as well as they should. This is a 45 minute procedure. Unless you're afraid of needles or super claustrophobic, this is something that a dentist would not tell you that you need to be put to sleep for. And so you should make sure you don't have to go to sleep. Number two, is it gonna hurt? So having a discussion about any surgery with regards to pain prior to the surgery with your provider is important. For me and the technique I use, the average patient uses about 12 pain pills. 99% of patients need pain pills the first day, 75% the second day, 50% the third day, and 0% the fourth day as we're transitioning to ibuprofen or Advil. Make sure that you talk to your provider about this ahead of time. Number three, how long will I have to wear a compression garment? Great question for me. It's one week all the time, the second week at night. This is your true downtime. While your ears are swollen, it's important to get them really close and stuck to your head and we want you to wear that for one week. That's going to be your true downtime. Every surgeon is different, so make sure you ask your surgeon that important question. Number four, do you have experience in this surgery as a surgeon? The vast majority of surgeons will advertise this procedure they know how to do, but most importantly that they don't do that often. Remember, even though I'm one of the busiest providers for the surgery in the world, I perform over 300 a year. There's a difference between a provider who knows what they're doing and performs between 20 and 50 and the average provider that performs two to three. Make sure you ask to see a lot of before and afters prior to the surgery and make sure your surgeon is experienced in doing the surgery in high volumes, not just experienced in being able to tell you about the surgery. This is a surgery of technical detail and minutia and anatomy, not that can't just be learned in books. Number five, how much does the surgery cost? Hopefully you've already asked your surgeon this question, but remember the vast majority of costs are gonna come with you going to sleep for a 45 minute surgery. This is not a $10,000 surgery done in the right hands. Hopefully this answers a lot of the questions that you have, but those are the five most important questions that you should be asking your surgeon prior to getting autoplasty.